Hello everybody. I'm here to show off another Forever Games release. Um, came, I think, September 1st. I was a, a beta tester for it, um, which is why I've got some dates earlier than September 1st that you can see. Um, and I've reached level 12. And much like the other Forever Games, it is uh, very friendly for people with low vision. And that's what I'm here to talk about today, is whether or not somebody with low vision can, uh, can play this game. So I'm going to show off a little bit of it, look what the menus look like, and, and just discuss a little bit about how well it plays and that kind of thing. Uh, it's got a YouTube player. Um, unlike the Forever Darts, it does not have an alternative keyboard that's usually located up here. Um, but this keyboard is still good contrast uh, and easy to see. So uh, I'm not going to put on any music um, for obvious reasons. I don't want to have a, a copyright issue problem. Um, I imagine that they will be putting in portals to Forever Bowl and Forever Darts at some point like they have in each of those games. They're just not here at the moment. Um, another change also is I'm hoping that this is recording in the uh, wider screen format. That was an update for the uh, Quest 2 itself and I chose that option and we shall see how it goes. So let's get into yeah, before we get into a match, I'll just show you briefly um, the the bags. There's not much to this game as far as equipment goes. You have uh, bags that you can pick and you can test them out. Um, here, even if you don't own them, you can pick them up and test them. I will show you how that works. Uh, let's see. I haven't bought Moon Glow. Um, here, we'll, we'll pick up... Uh, brownie why not okay so uh, there's a test board at the back the idea is to get the bean bag in the hole and you just toss it as you can see there's a trail and that's kind of nice with this bag and there are some sound effects that you've probably noticed um, here's the USA one and when you're actually in the game uh, you'll see scoring. This is just practice so you can see what the different bags sound like as you may have heard that one had a sound uh, Here and Obviously I I am a cat person so um, It's kind of cute to hear me out. So that's oh and the other side, you can choose different boards, which actually is probably the more important thing. I choose, even though I have some other board options, I choose the dark board uh, as the contrast is easier to see. Okay, let's get into a game. Let's go single player, and uh, here, we'll just choose the introductory one. There's California Dreamin', our rooftop. Arcade, Cosmic Cornhole, and I have not unlocked that one, and we have a Coming Soon board. So there's two that I can't show you. Um, the one that I like the best is the rooftop, and again, that has to do with contrast, although all of them I was able to play. As long as you can focus and find your board... Everything else kind of shows up for you. So basically, when you get cornhole, you put the bag in the hole on your throw, and you get three points. Uh, if you land a bag on the board and it doesn't go in the hole, then it's one point, and you just have a race to get to a certain amount of points. It's very basic. So we'll push the start button. So you can either play to 11 or play to 21. We'll go with 11 here, and there's a coin toss to see who throws first. I'm blue, they're red, they're always that way. Opponent is always red. Now, um, 
the only issue that you might have with this particular game in this setting is if you have any kind of vertigo issue. Uh, you might want to choose a different uh, game board if you have issues with feeling like you might fall. I don't have a problem with that, so I'm okay with that. There's your menu for pausing and resuming, that kind of thing. You don't have to move anywhere. You just stay right where you are. You press the trigger or the grip to pick up the bag and toss. And I did not score, and there's a zero. And up at the top here, red being my opponent, blue being me, I did comment on my feedback to the development team that I wished that the blue had either a yellow scoreboard or uh, yellow numbers, you know, something that was higher contrast for the center so that it wasn't dark. I can see the red better than I can see the blue as far as what the score is. Um, and then the pegboard just moves over as scoring happens. You throw one bag at a time. Well, that's another zero. Throw one bag at a time, and you'll see what happens at the end of this round here. So the opponent's going to... This can have multiplayer as well. I have not played multiplayer. All right, so there was a plus one at the end there. So she's landed one on the board. If I knock it in, she gets two more points. So I don't want to knock hers in. I would like to actually get it in the in the hole. Whoever has the most points at the end of the round, after the coin toss, obviously, is the person to go first and gain advantage. Holy clover. Okay. That means that my opponent put all four bags on the board, but none of them went into cornhole, and it's called a four leaf clover. No points for me. I knocked in a couple of her bags, it looks like. And as soon as she gets to 11, she wins. So she won the round, and so she'll go first. Airmail. All right, that means that it didn't touch anything. It went straight in the hole, just like, uh, you know, Perfect shot, basically. I'm standing, and I usually sit to play this, and I will say it's actually easier to play while sitting. I can't remember if I changed the velocity in testing here. Okay. I may have, because it was kind of easy. All right, I got a point at least. I won't be shut out. Well, actually, I will be shut out if, if I don't win the round. Cornhole. All right, she knocked my bag in, so now I got three points for that bag that I put on the board. It went from one to three. I got two additional points. Cornhole. All right, I'm catching up. One more bag to go. Maybe she'll miss, and I can pull ahead. Oh, she missed. This is my chance. Nope. She wins. She gets one point for that. It's the difference between her score and how many I scored. So she only got one point. So she only needs one more point. Can you hear the bean bags <laughs> meowing? Uh oh. Cornhole. Yeah, I got a cornhole, but I also knocked in her bag, so she's still ahead. Here's my opportunity. Stole. There we go. Now I 
I should be ahead. Okay, that was her last bag. So no matter what, I guarantee I won this round. Holy moly, triple corn, holy! There we go. And I got four points. Now, I will intentionally throw this just to end this game. Okay, I should throw it on the board. It took too long for it to hit the floor. Now, you can throw these any way you want to, um, but what you cannot do is step out of the back box and try to throw it. So you can't physically walk out and try to... Uh, and dunk the dunk the bags into the hole so they they do a good job of not allowing you to cheat oh well i wasn't trying and i made it so that's surprising this is on easy mode by the way um so i imagine as you go up into the higher ranks they do get more difficult I need her to pick up her game. Come on, candy corn. Yeah, I'd look away too. All right. Well, she's not going to be able to beat me because there's, unless she knocks in another one of her bags along with this one. I got one point. She only needs one point. So actually, I'm doing decent at holding my own here. Okay, that didn't stay on the board, so it's a zero. Airmail. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this will be the end of the game coming up here. So you can see what that looks like. But as you can see, it's it's fairly easy to, to navigate. You don't really have to move. You're always shooting at the same position. Um, Cute little sound effect. It is bright and cheerful. Oh, I leveled up. I know I lost. All right, you unlock new bags as you go. Uh, the, well, you don't really unlock the bag. You unlock the ability to purchase the bag with the coins that you win while you play. Um, just like with darts and uh, bowling, it's it's a little hard to get to where you want to be to be able to see scoring and as you move closer it moves away so that is the same issue that I've had with the other forever games uh, things so a lot of this information is lost on me uh, especially I can see the 511 and I believe that's the final score but this other stuff that's at the bottom, um, especially especially what's here on the left above the pictures, uh, I can't I can't make out what that is, um, and I don't know what the stuff on the bottom is. Well, actually, I, I can't really see anything here except for a little bit of where my picture is. I know that's my name and the number. But regardless, uh, 
I don't feel like you have to know what that is <laughs> in order to be able to play it uh, and just have fun. Um, you know whether or not you won or lost. Landing a bag on the board is called a woody and is worth one round point. Well, that's nice. Okay, so now that uh, I unlocked a new board uh, that I could buy, as you can see, there's all kinds of boards, and some of them would just be very, very busy. don't know if I'll be able to see what this looks like. Let's see. Yes, it shows. See, that's a little bit busy for me. And it's not so much that I can't know where the, my, the, the cornhole spot is that I need to aim for. It's more that if her, if her bags land on the board, I won't be able to really tell what's what. I won't be able to see the bags against that background. This one might not be too bad. This one is dark. Uh, that might be too dark, especially if your opponent's using a dark bag. Um, that one's kind of fun. If you could play variations on the game, that would be really fun. But I don't think there's uh, an optional game for game mode. But maybe they'll put one in at some point. Oh, I can't even look at this yet because I'm not level 15. I can only look at boards that I've unlocked. Okay, well, that makes sense. Um... Let me go back to the basic beginner board that I prefer, which is the ocean blue. Um, I'm going to assume that it's just going to stay there. Um, and when I come back next time, it'll be there. Uh, let's see. don't think there's much of anything else. There's the leaderboards here. Um, Kind of have to kneel down in order to read this, but you can read it. So it just kind of gives an explanation of what these leaderboards are. Um, I must have hit this by being so close. Okay, so this is my total wins. I've won 18 games uh, against the AI and points per round. I'm guessing that that's probably an average. Now, the only other thing I'll mention about is movement. I've chosen smooth movement, uh, which you may prefer teleport, which is in other games and probably are familiar with, so I don't need to explain. Um, but if you get too close to something that you can interact with, like this TV screen, it can get choppy in trying to move. Um, and if you do get hung up, you basically just have to, like right now I'm pressing forward and I can't go forward. You have to kind of move your, move your arm away from, point them away from interactable, from the interactable object, and then you can move away from it just fine. Okay, that's, that's it. If you've watched my other games um, with, regarding Forever Games, then... You'll know pretty much how the rest of this stuff works. Um, just pass and play. You can pass the headset back and forth. Private game, play with your own friends, quick match. Uh, I believe that's a random, yeah, instant online game. So you just get paired up with somebody else. I don't know if they match you with somebody at your own level or, or what have you. That is Forever Cornhole. And as I said, there are other game boards that you can play. This is the introductory one and the setting that you see outside the window here is the one that you would go to if I were to go into this circle. Um, and it's just a different uh, play space. So it's not as dark. It's more sunshiny and uh, like on the patio kind of deal playing. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.